Hello everyone, welcome to this practice. This is for anyone that's maybe had a long journey, you've arrived at your destination, you have a little bit of floor space, um, just to stretch out, refresh the body a little bit, and just kind of open up through your hips and your shoulders, particularly if you've been sat in a car or on a plane for long periods of time. I do have a previous practice, it's a little seven minute standing practice that you can do when you're on your journey. So whether that's like a little pit stop or in between changing planes. Um, so I'll leave that linked below for whenever you need it. You are gonna need a little prop for today's practice, but you could just grab a pillow, maybe you're in your hotel room, you've got a couple of pillows to hand. But if you do have a yoga block, um, just have that to hand. Otherwise, we're gonna get straight into it. Come to all fours, spread your fingers wide. Knees underneath the hips, be quite particular about that. And then as you inhale, drop your belly, look up. And then as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under, look to your toes. Good, inhale, drop your belly, maybe a little bit more. Stretch through your throat. And as you exhale, round, push the shoulders apart. Nice, take it in your own time. So if you've had a long journey, you might be feeling a little bit stuck <laughs> through your spine. So be kind to yourself and just build up the movement bit by bit. You will find you get a little more freedom as we move through this practice. Wonderful. Good. From here, come to a neutral spine, bring your big toes together and then rest it into child's pose. So sitting bones to heels, reach the hands in front, maybe your head drops down all the way to the floor. Take a huge breath. Notice what impact that has on your lower back. Nice, the next part of the flow, you can exaggerate again, as much or as little as you want. So as you inhale, come forward, sink the hips forwards. Maybe some of us get to this. And then as you exhale, take it back to child's pose. So inhaling forwards, it can just be like a little bit if you want. Exhaling, maybe not even all the way back. You decide. But see if you can marry together breath and movement. So inhaling forwards, exhaling back. This is going to make it a little more mindful. Good. You can do it with your eyes closed if you want as well. Good. Next time, come to all fours. Spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes, and then find a downward facing dog. So sending those sitting bones back and up. Now maybe we're tight in the back of the legs, that's okay. So we keep the knees a little bent. But then just begin to bend deeply into one knee and straighten the other. Breathe into the back of that leg. Keep pressing the floor away evenly through all 10 knuckles. And then switch it over, one knee bends. Opposite leg straightens. See if you can get your heel down towards the floor. Wonderful, good. And then see if you can straighten both legs just a touch. Good, from here, begin to walk your feet towards your hands. So bend into the knees, walking forwards. Bring your feet about hip width, maybe a bit wider. Soften your knees, interlace your fingers behind your back, squeeze your palms together, let your head drop down, let the fists fall overhead. Breathe deep into the front of the shoulder. If you'd like to straighten your legs, you can, but not necessary, maybe your tummy is more comfy, resting on your thighs. Good, releasing your hands down to the floor and then step back to your all fours. So dropping one knee down and then the other 
Awesome. Let's step your right foot on the outside of your right hand. If you need your hand to get it there, absolutely go ahead. If you're feeling particularly tight, your left hand might be on a block or on a support. Maybe you've got a stack of books or something to hand. And then your left, sorry, your right hand is going to reach forwards, up and back. And see if you can make these really nice, big circles. Finding lots of freedom in the upper spine and the shoulder area. So please don't worry about what these look like. You can like really reach forwards if you want. You can like lean all the way back or just mini circles. Enjoy that nice kind of rhythmic movement. Wonderful, good. And then slowly bringing that right hand down. Step your right foot back. Same with the left. So left foot on the outside of the left hand. If you need a block under this hand, if you're feeling particularly tight, come up like really high. And then nice big circles with that left hand. So see if you can keep them really slow so you feel every little bit of the movement and you might just be able to enjoy something that feels really good when you slow it down. You can slow it down in the parts that feel really nourishing to you. Take one more big circle. Left hand down to the inside of that left foot. Step it back to all fours. Now tuck your toes, walk your hands back. And we're going to come up to a kneeling position. So pad up through the knees if you need it. Hands onto the lower back. Squeeze your elbows together. And then lifting the chest, coming into a back bend. For some of us, we might release our left hand up towards the sky and the right heel, right hand down to the right heel. Keep pressing your hips forwards though. So if you've been sat <laughs> for a long while, this should feel really good. To open across that front side. Good, let's bring our left hand back and then our right hand back and then slowly come up, take a little break here, breathe in, reach up. Exhale, right hand down, left arm across. So maybe you can touch the floor, maybe not. Maybe you're kind of hovering. Just feel that lovely opening here. Good, inhaling up and then over to the opposite side. Maybe fingertips touch the floor or a block or not at all. Good, inhaling up. Exhale, hands to the lower back once more. Let's take another back bend, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze your elbows together, lift up with the chest up and over so this time maybe your left hand remains onto your lower back as your right arm reaches up this is an option and this is also an option for anyone wants to bring the left hand to the left heel good let's bring that right hand back to the lower back left hand back to the lower back Untuck the toes, sit down into neutral here. So keeping that spine nice and straight. Perfect, cool. From here, let's bring our hands in front and then pull your belly in, rounding through the back. So imagine you're tucking your tailbone under, letting your head drop down. For some of us, we'll be on our fingertips. Some of us will have our hands flat. You can even grab the front of your knees. Just feel, should feel like a nice refresher after those back bends. Wonderful, good. Inhale to a neutral spine once more. We're going to come onto our back here. So coming on down, have your pillow or your block to hand. And just make sure you can brush your heel with your middle finger. You want your feet about hip width apart so you can kind of judge in space. Good, as you inhale, press into hands, press into hips. 
lifting the bum, lifting the chest. Now imagine you're squeezing a beach ball in between your knees. Good, digging down through those heels. Good, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly lower down. Take a little swipe of the knee side to side. And then you're gonna use a pillow or a block underneath your sacrum. So that flat part of your spine, maybe you're rested here. And whatever you want with the arms, maybe the arms come overhead if that feels good. Maybe out to the sides. For some of us, you might wanna lengthen out one leg, maybe even both legs. You can do this with the pillows. If you feel like you really like this one, Grab like two or three pillows and make it a little bit higher. This is going to release here. So yeah, if you've been traveling and sat a lot, this is going to get squashed, <laughs> this area of the body. So we're gently opening that out just by using gravity. So there's nothing to force here. In fact, the more you, you relax, the more you get out of it. If you want to stay in this one for longer, please do pause this video and just stay in it for as long as you need. Otherwise, we're going to walk our feet back towards us, lifting the bum so we can remove the props from underneath us and then slowly bring ourselves back to earth. Once you're here, tuck your tailbone up towards the sky. So imagine you're squashing a grape underneath your lower back. Good. And then swipe the knees side to side. Good, from here, we're gonna bring the right knee in towards the chest, just give it a brief squeeze, and then cross your right ankle over your left knee. You're welcome to stay here if this is enough, or you can grab the back of your left thigh or your left shin. If you've got a wall or a sofa or a bed to hand, you can even push your left foot against that so it's kind of like hands free if you want to. particularly if you're dealing with like quite a tight space in a hotel room or something. Keep your lower back imprinted on the floor. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Breathe deep. Exhale to release. Bring your right foot down and then hug your left knee in. Just a brief squeeze. Feel that opening of your left lower back. And then flex the foot, cross it over using your hands or the assistance of some furniture. Bring the legs in. Let go of all and any tension through the face, shoulders, neck area. And again, this is lovely for opening up the hips particularly if you've been sat for a while or carrying heavy bags, it can really help uh, release the lower back. Good, one more breath. Exhale to release, uncross the legs, but bring them in towards the chest. Maybe take a little rock side to side. And then taking the arms out into a cactus shape, we're gonna allow the knees to fall over to the right. Just let them be heavy. If you've got a big gap in between your knees, you can bring a pillow in between the knees or use a block. It can be much more comfy that way. But just let your legs just kind of slump. <laughs> Don't hold them up, just allow them to be heavy. Breathing into that gentle twist. Good, inhale, bringing the legs through center. Take your prop with you if you liked it. And then just letting the legs drop the opposite way. Using each exhale as an opportunity just to relax and release a little bit more. It's 
slowly bringing the legs through center, bringing the knees in towards the chest. And then bring your hands underneath the back of the knees, chin to chest, and then gently, gently rock up and down the length of the spine a few times, just to massage the back a little more. And then eventually come and find a comfortable seat, sitting nice and tall. Let's take a huge breath in, reach up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Bowing the head down towards yourself. Really thank yourself for recognizing that you needed a little stretch today and for allowing yourself to take that time. Blinking the eyes open and welcoming yourself back. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this class. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you know anyone that could benefit from a class like this, please do go ahead and share it with them. Also go check out that long journey standing stretch. It's a little seven minute stretch that you can do during your journey at any point. I really hope these videos are helping you guys and hopefully see you on another one soon.